Hi, I'm Ryan LaPlante, and I'm one of the crazy founders of Dumb Dumbs and Dice, the podcast production company that's making the podcast you're listening to right now. Now, we're clearly busy. We're producing five weekly podcasts and a sixth event podcast, but we want to take this time to invite you to become a part of our company and a part of our Patreon at patreon.com slash dumbdumbdice. You can get access to our Discord, access to exclusive DM and character chats. You can get the chance to name characters in our shows and vote on the way their stories will progress. You can even become a recurring NPC and hear yourself interacting with our characters each week through the voice of Tom. You can become a patron for as little as $1, and there's great value for you at even that level. So please, join the Dum Dums and Dice family and help us make even more content in a way that you are guaranteed to love. That's patreon.com slash dumdumdice. D-U-M-B, D-U-M-B, D-I-C-E. So let's do something dumb together, and thanks for listening. I am Executron, god of merchandising, and I came into existence because Dum Dums and Dice has its own merchandise. That's a god pun. Get it? Dice? Merchandise? Anyways, you can get t-shirts, hoodies, spiral notebooks, clocks, wall art, throw pillows, bags, and even stickers emblazoned with your favorite Dum Dums and Dice characters and their catchphrases. There are plenty of different designs available, so there is guaranteed to be something you love. To show your love of Dum Dums and Dice, go to redbubble.com slash people slash Dum Dum Dice. That's D-U-M-B. D-U-M-B. D-I-C-E. One more time for the mortals in the back. Redbubble.com slash people slash Dum Dum Dice. Get your merchandise today. All art supplied by the brilliant decapitated markers. Welcome back to Dum Scum and Villainy, a Dum Dums and Dice podcast where professional voiceover artists and improvisers explore the underworld of this Star Wars Edge of the Empire role playing game. I'm your host, Bloto the Toydarian. This series features our game master, Tom McGee, Ryan LaPlante as Abraxas Brash Core, Tyler Hewitt as Vic Denbar, and Adam McNamara as the forgetful psychopath, Waka Waka Fonzi. The Imperial Shuttle has arrived and the heist is ongoing. Waka Waka Fonzi killed a trio of Gamorreans and his assistant Dibs with a flaming swoop bike attack. Vic made the final table of a space poker tournament before Waka Waka blew his cover. And despite winning over a horny Imperial officer who was struck by a swoop bike, Brash was betrayed by Xanatos who tried to kill him. There, you're caught up. So get out of my shop or spend money. No credits, only money. Me? Oh, I was there. I was there when it all went down. Yeah, I was at the Tipsy Droid on Anarch 3. I was watching a a fancy high-stakes game of space poker. And you'll never believe what happened. In walked this big motherfucker, and he just started (laughs) flapping his gums about how he was in on something with this there uh, fancy gambling man. And then, oh boy... Then the guns came out. I'll tell you all about it. Welcome back to Dumb Scum and Villainy. Uh, as you'll recall, guns have been drawn. Mm-hmm. A high stakes mm-hmm. space poker game has gone awry. Elsewhere, bad things happened with a space motorcycle. But more importantly, <laughs> guns have been drawn. Uh, Vic Denbar, you spent a bunch of time in high stakes games. You've you've you know you've come under pressure before. You're a man about the galaxy. This isn't your first rodeo, but this might be the first time guns have been pointed at you. Uh, not that you'd tell anyone that, because you've definitely told people that you've been in gunfights. Yeah. Um, so let's start. I settled gunfights. <laughs> there we go. So let's start with you. You're sitting. Uh, you're sitting there. You've got a great hand in space poker. You have like a good combination of, of red and black really cards. Good hand. Um, it'd be cool if you knew what they meant, but like, damn it, you think they're pretty decent. Um, and, uh, unfortunately your, your new companion, um, Waka Waka Fonzie has come in and, and blown the heist. Um, and all of a sudden all around you, guns are being drawn, uh, across from you, your opponent is, is giving you just, just a, a death glare. And, um, uh, I believe you were referring to him as a goat faced killer. Yeah, he goat face killer yeah. So he's, uh, he's got a gun out, but you notice that he's got his gun on the table. Like he's not holding it up. It's just kind of a, he slams it down next to okay, yeah. uh, his cards and chips. Um, 
But uh, things are pretty tense. What do you do? Um, I slowly and with kind of an air of like determination and haughtiness, not like in any kind of panic or caution, um, push all of my chips into the center and I say, <laughs> all in. <laughs> I've got a really good hand and this game is not over. All right. Um, so it's interesting. This is one of those cases where like, it's not really a deception check. Um, Tyler, what, what kind of skill do you think you're using here? Is it literally like, it's an honesty check really. Um, but I think what I'm looking for is I need you to tell me what kind of, uh, aura you're trying to give off. Like what, what, how are you trying to calm this thing? It sounds like just like sheer confidence and love of the game. Uh, yes, it's, this can happen now when I have got great cards. <laughs> <laughs> so let's try and finish this hand first and then, you know, I'll cash out, uh, and I'll leave. And then you guys can do whatever. <laughs> um, okay. Um, Is that like charm? I'd say charm or cool, probably. Ooh, that's a good call. I'll, I'll take cool, please Great. and thank All you. All right. Cool hand Vic. So, uh, Tyler, I'm going to need you to roll me a check for this. Uh, this is a pretty important one, so don't fuck it up. <laughs> uh, this is uh, this room is hot. This is uh, this is bad news. So, uh, I'm going to give you uh, three difficulty dice. So, three purple. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give you a setback for Waka Waka Fonzie showing up and being. <laughs> Right there. Myself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to spend a point of destiny to upgrade one of those purples to a red. Okay. Uh, so upgrade it to a challenge dice. Uh, and then from you, uh, if you could make a pool using your um, cool. Uh, so how many ranks do you have in cool? Uh, I have one rank in cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it says it's linked to presence. So I have two for presence. Presence. All right. So that is one green and one yellow. <laughs> Uh, keep in mind, you have four available, uh, three available destiny points. Oh, yes. Are we allowed to use three or we're only allowed to use one on a check, right? I believe you're only, uh, I think you're only allowed to use one. Yeah, I'd say let's use one uh, yeah. I, what, as, as an outside pitch. I want to say that a ghost face killer thinks you are bluffing and he can win the hand. All oh, right. Okay. All right. I like that. I like that. Cool. So and it's I'm, goat face because he does have the head of a goat. Yeah. He's a yeah, yeah. yes. <laughs> oh, goat face. Yeah. So, I mean, he, he could be a ghost depending on how this gunfight goes. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, all right. So, Tyler, turn, please, one of your, your other remaining green into a yellow. Okay. Um, now, before you roll, Waka Waka Fonzie, um, <laughs> you, you had, you've had a hell of a few minutes. Um, oh, yeah. Your good buddy, Righteous Indignation, blew up. Also, Vic... Or uh, also Dibs. Dibs, your uh, fighting partner, uh, also a master of the Terrasca. Right. My, um, <laughs> my magician master. Uh, and and yeah, uh, he had a great thing going with him and a great trick planned. Uh, but then a bunch of pig men showed up and ruined it for you. Mm -hmm. uh, you killed them. You ate them. Uh, so now you're full. Um, but really, you feel, I think, uh, even though you don't consciously know this yet, I think it, like you're you're a seasoned professional, and so the idea that that your part of the plan didn't work, I think that's part, probably part of the reason why you just had to tell Vic, because mm -hmm. like normally you just report success. That's what you do. You're the guy, but for some reason, like it just didn't work out for you. So you see all these guns drawn, uh, and a quick sweep of the room. You see everything from holdout blasters to like some heavier weapons. Um, you can see Shatterstar kind of like throwing her massive wrench back and forth between her hands like a monkey right. knife fighter. Um, <laughs> now, is, yep. does anyone have that like fork gun from the Mandalorian? <laughs> uh, no, no one has the fork gun yet. <sighs> uh, but if you subscribe to Disney Plus, oh, you can get a fork gun too. Jeez. It's on Patreon. Um, <laughs> so uh, no, no fork guns. Damn it! Um, my, I was going to I was going to use a destiny point to get the fork gun. <laughs> But <laughs> dumb scum just becomes like the Hunger Games where we're like, on Patreon, drop in a weapon for yeah. Waka Waka Fonzie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, that's actually very funny. We should totally do that. So far. <laughs> Coming soon. Um, that just me. I mostly just wanted to do a Stanley Tucci pr impression for like a full series. That laugh. <laughs> you can do, yeah, I was going to say, you can do that laugh. I've heard you do that laugh. I'm Tom Flickerman. Um... <laughs> Like I just show up in full makeup and hair, and you guys are like it's an audio medium. I'm like it's for me. Yeah, <laughs> I can't um, laugh without it. Okay, uh, 
Fonzie, I'm going to say I want this gun because you want this gun. You want this gun real bad. The fork gun? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to make you work for this gun. I think okay. rather than just having the fork gun, something there's from the mists of time, you, you remember a great weapon, um, and it's going to be your job to try and build it. So I'm going to say that looking around, there's a pretty varied amount of guns in here. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd say you can spend a, a force point, a uh, destiny point if you want. Um, to kind of identify in the way that like in the Lego movie, the master builders are like, oh yes, this element, you can see a thing that's like, I could probably use that to make one of the fork tongs. Um, so I can like MacGyver my way into I, I like think that's, that's a fork gun? I think that's the, the goal. Let's turn uh, okay. Strangle Storm into, eventually into a fork gun. Also, <laughs> hopefully by the time you've done it, uh, the show will have come out and we can see what that gun actually fires like because I fucking don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe either. it shoots lightning or just sound. Maybe, Maybe it's just like forks. those guns from Dune. You just yell into it. I think it's just forks. I haven't seen the trailer. So is it a fork gun that shoots forks? Yep. Okay. It kind of looks like, you know, the like a lobster fork. Kind of yeah. kind of like that because it's like two, like a like a trident. Okay. So, wait, so he's going to fight crab people? Anyway, <laughs> we, I digress. Um, okay, so uh, let's say you spent a point. Um, you can identify the gun. It is, uh, we'll say... That it is uh, one of the um, opponents who was already defeated. Um, he's a, a rough-looking human um, with kind of a heavy cybernetic rig, um, sort of over one eye. I think like Kano from Mortal Kombat. Oh yeah. Um, and he's uh, he's holding a rifle that you like looks like it has some of the pieces you might need. Um, and he's uh, you can tell he's kind of. Um, He's got an opportunistic stance, if that makes any sense. Uh, everyone else has pulled guns kind of in a, this might be a con and fuck y'all. He's clearly the guy who's like, what's the angle? Like, how mm-hmm. how, how, how does old Kano score a win? So uh, maybe I could use coercion to coerce him. <laughs> to get to, what I want now. Yeah, to like... <laughs> that, is, that, that is entirely possible. Uh, that said, currently... Um, I, the options I'll give you are you can start making your way over to him or you can see if you can help Vic. Hmm. Okay. You know what? Actually, uh, Shatterstar Mm -hmm. is still there, right? Yep. She's throwing that wrench back and forth. Yes. And so she's like the best mechanic. So So, yeah. So, um, the righteous indignation is sweep. Sweep has been sweeping it back towards, uh, the best ship. It's It's going to take him a while. Right. So I, I, I need her to fix it. Mm Mm-hmm. So, so I'm I'm gonna turn to her and just be like, uh, uh, Shatterstar, uh, the righteous indignation has suffered a hit. Uh, I need you to get back to the ship and uh, and fix it up. Uh, and she throws the wrench to one hand. She's like a little busy here. Bit of a bit of a uh, uh, Coruscant standoff. Uh, we might all die in a few minutes, but you know what? Yeah, sure, bro. If I get back, I'll fix your I'll fix your bike. The only the only life that matters is the righteous indignation. <laughs> Trust me, I will cover you. If you if you go for it, I'll I'll cause a distraction. I'm gonna go to this I'm, guy who listen. Oh, he, you know those fork guns that uh, I've been telling you about. With oh sweep, yeah, sweep sweep over yeah, yeah. dinner, and how I really want one. Yeah. Well, there's this guy. I think his name is Kano. He's sitting over in the corner, and if I can kind of, in a very loud about way, make my way over, you can get away and fix the bike. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> so We're all just here's listening to this. Happen. I'm also not whispering. I'm yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, what are, what are you doing, Vic? I'm not in this so, room. Here's... I'm watching uh, other people and gamblers. I'm watching their ar- arms get tired with yeah. their guns yeah. out as they slowly start to drop, and like people's hands are shaking. So this is this is what kind of <laughs> happens in slow butt. motion. So, uh, <laughs> Fonzie, you're saying that as uh, like if, if this was all happening concurrently, it's like. Uh, Vic shoving all the credits into the middle. Um, Goatface Killer is kind of like staring at them. Uh, and then you can see him look at his own cards and he looks at Vic and then he looks back at Shatterstar and back at Vic and like, as everyone kind of determined, like he's been rolling high dough around and like, they're like, you know what? Yeah, fuck it. So, um, he starts pushing things into the center, uh, and in slow motion, saying like, call as you're striding purposefully, uh, towards Kano, um, and uh, suddenly the room explodes uh, into gunfire. I was gonna say, is Tyler even going to get to roll dice? <laughs> he is. Tyler, I need you to roll those dice. Um, and basically, this is... I'm, I don't like my odds, so I don't care if I don't get to roll them. <laughs> Go, goat face killer is... He's hesitating with his hands on the chips. And then all of a sudden, blasters start going off. And you lock eyes with him. And this is the roll to determine whether or not he stays in the game. 
Oh, so we're going to play cards during a gunfight? That's <laughs> if you awesome. roll high enough, yes. <laughs> it is not good. So we have... Uh, we have... The net is one and one, I think. Yeah. I have two successes, but a failure, so... Sorry. It's one failure and one threat that you've got left. Uh, no, it's uh, one success and three... Three threat. Mm. That's how I'm reading that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No failure and success to, balance each other. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's one success and three threat. So yeah, kind of apt given the scenario of like <laughs> all the guns in the room. Okay. Um, he um, a smile crosses his goatee features, and he that's unsettling. Uh, he just like pushes the chips in. Um, and basically just around you as though it's, uh, as, as if you're Willem Dafoe and he's also Willem Dafoe, but like different Willem Dafoe mm-hmm. and like boondock saints, imagining a gunfight happening around you. Mm-hmm. Um, the two of you are just locked in this, uh, and the blaster bolts start flying. Um, because you rolled a bunch of threat, uh, I'm going to say three straight, you had three threat. Yep. Uh, three stray bolts fly at you. Uh, so... Let me see how we're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to need you to try and get out of the way. So can you roll me agility, please? So agility being one of my characteristics, that's all I'm using? Or am I using one of my um, skills as well? I'm trying to well. think which one you would use to dodge out of the way here. <laughs> Survival? <laughs> <laughs> or skullduggery if he's being sneaky? Uh, if I may, um, if you're if you're open to receiving... Yeah, yeah, suggestions. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't mind skullduggery. Uh, not to dodge, but to just pull a random stranger in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. That's it. That's the one. Yep. Human shield. Just Vic the human. Sh- yeah. <laughs> and some cool. Activate Dunbar shield. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So that's cunning and skullduggery. Yes. Okay. So that's actually better for me too. Um, two rank in skullduggery and three cunning. Okay. Two yellow and a green. Yeah, so two yellow and a green. Um, I'm going to say this is a difficulty of... Uh, I'm going to say this is a difficulty of four. Um, this is this is a pretty like impressive action uh, for you, and, and also you're focused on the game. Uh, that said, um, you, you said you were kind of like keeping an eye on the people around you, mm-hmm. um, mostly just watching their arms get tired. So I'm actually going <laughs> to give you a boost dice. Because I think, weirdly, it's just one of those things where you're, like, you see a a trembling arm near you, and your first reflex is to just, like, pull it down. Um, And uh, I'm going to give you another boost dice uh, because everyone is distracted by Fonzie storming across the room. Okay. So it is four difficulty dice, two boost Two proficiency and one ability. That's correct. Uh, okay. There are uh, you currently have two destiny points available. Um, hell with it. I'll. Can I spend a destiny point to pull an item off of the person that I grab? Uh, sure. Or you could upgrade a. What what item do you want? Are you trying to like pot, pickpocket or what's? Um. It's basically, I don't know yet. Yeah, it depends on yeah. who I grab. It depends on a lot of things. So, Tyler, what I'd recommend using it right is no, no, no. That's totally the right way to play it. Um, what I would recommend is spend this one to upgrade one of your dice. Make okay. that green a yellow. Yeah, and that's if what he I would if do. he ends yeah. up dead on your table, then <laughs> you get all this stuff. I'll let you spend. <laughs> uh, you can spend a point separately next round to find something interesting on him. Okay, so the rules of the pleasure tumor, <laughs> where the corpse falls, the killer gets the stuff. That's okay. on the welcome mat. Pretty good. Uh, let me just compare these here. Uh, advantage versus threats. So that is negated. Holy crap. It's it's good. I just need to math this out. Okay, so one, two versus those two. Oh, no, that's threat versus success. Okay, so I have minus one. So one, two, three successes. And that's the net is three successes. Three success. Okay, yeah. great. 
Um, so that's actually all you need. That cancels out the uh, the bolts. Um, you you see a trembling arm next to you, and just in like a split second thing, you pull them forward, um, and uh, you just hear um, a guy go, huh? uh, and then just <laughs> his body gets racked with uh, with blaster fire, um, and uh, he slams off the table and just slumps down next to you. As Ryan, I'm so glad that wasn't Shatterstar because I was just seeing like no dudes, no Shatterstar, just like friends don't come right. home. He, he rolled well. Um, so body slams off the table. Uh, you lock eyes with Goatface Killer. What do you say? Uh, oh, so we're both all in. So I say, uh, show them. And I, and I, I, I flip my cards face up and we're going to let the... Cool. Let the dealer, if they're still alive or functioning, I can't remember if they're a droid or not. They're, they're probably a droid. Fonzie, uh, you are striding purposefully across the room. Um, blaster bolts just start ripping through the air around you. Uh, I'm going to say, yeah, they're probably, uh, I'm going to take a, a shot at you, actually, I think, as a as a, a dude here. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on, soak value. <laughs> <laughs> soak it up. <laughs> Hey everybody, Tom McGee here, your friendly neighborhood DM, and I just wanted to thank you so much for listening to our shows. I hope you're having a great time. Obviously we are. I'm probably really stressed because they're they're probably doing something horrible to me right now, but uh, I hope you're enjoying it, and uh, we're enjoying you being here. And listen, if you want to get a little bit more involved uh, in our show and with the various things we do, you can check out patreon.com slash dice where you can find more information about how you can become a part of the show, how you can screw with me on air, how you can add names and all that sort of stuff. And it's a great way to support us in our ongoing dumb adventures. So thanks very much for joining us. And I will see you out there in the dumbverse. He's got good soak. I got some good soaks going on. Very good soak. Yeah. Oh, did, uh, did Shatterstar take my advice and like get the yes, hell out Shatterstar, of there? Shatterstar, like literally the minute you're like, I'll create a distraction and cover if you go save my bike. She's just like, I have a wrench. <laughs> like, yeah, she's immediately going. Okay, like, go this ahead. is this is an ideal situation for her. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, so these guys are... Sorry, just let me pull up my notes here. You gotta find my feelings. I found them. They're not good. Uh, okay. Yep. Um, so I'm going to roll here. Waka, waka, waka. I never get to roll. Uh, okay. So I have one success and one advantage. Um, so Fonzie, um, you are hit with a, a blaster bolt from a pistol. Um, it's got damage six. Oh no. Uh, what's your soak value? My soak is four. Four. Okay. So you'll take uh, two to your wound threshold. Dear. Okay. So I got 10. All right. Um, and I think the way this works is it's like you're striding purposefully uh, across the room and it's a little bit like uh, the Terminator getting shot in the head, like it pings off your helmet. Uh, <laughs> do you turn to look at who shot you or do you keep going? Um, no, I turn to look. I, I should keep going to Kano, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm a person of instinct. And so I get hit, so I have to look at who, who yeah, hits me. Yeah, so you turn and um, you see a, a Devorian who are uh, like the, they literally look like the devil. They're like, they've got red face and like spooky little horns. Um, one of his horns is like sheared off um, in a pretty gnarly way. Uh, and he's wearing like very expensive robes. Um, but the second you turn to look at him, he starts trembling a bit and kind of like holds his blaster up. He's like, oh, by the gods, a, a Mandalorian. Oh, I'm I am so sorry. I am I am really sorry, man. I was I was I was trying to shoot that prick, and he points at Vic. Sorry doesn't cut it. And then I take my gun and I point at him and I fire. All right, so uh, put together a pool for me, please. Um, I need you to take uh, two purple because you're shooting at medium range. All right. Um, and then you're gonna take your. It's ranged so. Oh, God, I wrote all this down, and none of it is where I need it to be. <laughs> <laughs> um, I believe that is your ranged skill. And I think your agility? That can't make sense. Uh, ranged is tied into agility. Yeah, ranged light or heavy is agility. Okay, great. My agility it's like, it's is like two. a dex. Yeah. yeah, okay. So take your agility and your... Um, 
your ranged. Uh, you've got a blaster rifle. Is that correct? Uh, yes. You're firing slaughter gore. Strangle. Uh, sorry, str- strangle. Strangle storm. storm. Yes. Shit. Yeah. He's got two yellow for two that. Two yellow. Uh, okay. So I have a question. Is I'm it? noticing on the back here that I have intimidating and toughened, mm-hmm. which are fives. Can I? Uh, the oh, fives don't mean anything. Don't worry page about five. it. Those are page numbers. Oh, just yeah. page numbers? Oh, yeah. I thought those were... Th- okay. It's like, this one's 10. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, that's, uh, that's actually how many skill points I had to... Or experience uh, points I had to spend in order to purchase that for you. Still oh, not helpful for you. Okay, um, okay. So toughen just means you have more HP than, than the oh, average Oh, so I bear. can't, like, do these. I can't just, uh, like... Not like, all of them, no. A couple the, of them are, are active skills. Okay. Um, the, the other one would help you intimidate him, but you've shot him, so... He was intimidated he when he shot you. Right. Okay. Okay. So it's not like me turning and saying like a cool line was like, mm, and I get more points. Uh, I will give you a boost dice because he's trembling. Oh, okay. Um, right. But normally, uh, normally what I'd say is like, if you turn to him and you say something cool, then he's just kind of like, oh no, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, <laughs> then he walks away. Uh, but you, you just chose to shoot him. So <laughs> yes, light that, that, light that motherfucker up. All right. Oops. Oh God. Oh, oh. Jumanji. I dice went off the table. Uh, the Adam just got sucked back into the board game. So Sorry. I think good things happened. Just roll the one you have, Adam. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry right. about the dice. Right. Live show. Live show. <laughs> okay. All right. I got it. I got it. Uh, okay. I Purple was uh, nothing on one. So I got two threats. Two threats. Uh, ooh, I got a lot. I got one, two, three successes mm-hmm. and one advantage. Okay. So does he just pop or something? So you've, like, got, <laughs> you've got three success and one threat then. Yeah. Oh yes. Okay. So, uh, Adam, what is the damage on your rifle? I think I actually have that here. If you if you don't, um, that's a very good question. Um, blaster rifle is nine. <laughs> okay, uh, and then for each additional success over um, the initial one, uh, you get plus one damage. So that's eleven, 11 points yeah. of damage. Uh, his soak value from his sick robes is three. <laughs> Man, um, that guy's robes are good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, honestly. So uh, you fire um, and just like without even like almost by reflex, you just whip that rifle up and, and let loose. Um, and the bolt just like blasts a hole in his chest. <laughs> um, and the pistol falls out of his hand. And as he drops to his knees, he says, the legends were true. And then he falls over dead. Uh, and everybody stops. There's just like, if there was a record playing, it would skip. Uh, and all you hear is uh, Vic go, show him. Um, and the room is silent for a minute. What do you do? Uh, I'm just like, uh, okay. And then I, uh, <laughs> then, I go, Kano? then I go back to Kano. All right. It's like, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, smash cut to uh, Brash. So, um, Brash, you've just hauled yourself uh, back through the door frame. Uh, the emergency door is shut. Um, the cargo bay is closed off. Uh, however, there are alarm claxtons now blaring, um, and you can kind of hear like a shipwide alert being like, Anarc 3 is under attack. Anarc 3 is under attack. Uh, okay, I've, you, I've got a crate in my hand. Yeah, you've got like a... And when I say crate, like it, it is... It's got a handle. Like it's it's almost like a, the nuclear briefcase. Like it's a... a Carrying, yeah, it's easy to move is what I'm getting at. Yeah, um, I'm going to get on the comms to Nyx, because poor Nyx, just what a journey for everything. Uh, and, and I've got, uh, Nyx, I need you to know that everything's gone very poorly. Um, Xanatos has stolen the Imperial shuttle. I have a crate, don't know what's in it. Uh, there are alarms, so probably the stormtroopers are going to be aware. Uh, I'm thinking... Hmm. Improv is sort of the Santos thing. I'm more of a looker. Uh, maybe we just if, Run? If, is running an option, sir? Uh, oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, if if you see the troopers, tell them to report to the med bay to protect Captain uh, Creve. Uh, that seems like something stormtroopers would do, and we need to uh, steal our ship back. Um, okay, so uh, he goes. Okay, so I will tell the stormtroopers to report to, to the medical bay, uh, and I will go secure the Falling Express. Wonderful. That would be super on my way. Um, so you click off your comm link. Um, it immediately occurs to you that um, Xanatos and you have a linked account. Um, so you like you see immediately like his comm channel is now scrambled. Um, so you don't have any access to him. Um, you're standing in the hallway. Uh, what do you do? 
Uh, if I have my data pad tab or whatever, I want to try to clean that whole account into another account I have that he doesn't have access to. Uh, you open it and uh, the account, you've been locked out of the account. It's all, every, literally everything's shut down. All the money you skimmed off the uh, table stakes, everything's gone. That human fucker. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, okay, so I've got a crate. I don't know what's in the crate. Do you know what? Let's make that be a little surprise for later. You gotta <laughs> treat yourself for not dying. Um, okay. Uh, and then I have, a, I have a crisis of conscience where I'm like, I can just go to the ship and I can leave. This is what I would have done a minute ago. But someone just did this to me. I can't build an empire if everyone is dead, but they're terrible partners. Ah, damn it. <laughs> uh, and I, I'm going to carry my crate, but I realize I have to go try to get these idiots or I have nothing. Great. Um, so you begin booking it down the hallway. Um, you're still in your like weird engineer garb, which just really isn't fun for... Like, it just chafes. Like, it's not a great... Oh, I look so it. bad. <laughs> um, and also, it's just like, there's there's no dignified way to run with, like, a suitcase. <laughs> so mm-hmm, just doing mm-hmm. that stupid airport run. Um, but luckily, Nix isn't around, so, like, it's fine. Um, but, he, man, you got to understand. Yeah. You got to slow down <laughs> before you pass the uh, the fence guy, though, because, like, you don't want that Rodian motherfucker to, to no, give you No, no, no. Um, and you also have uh, the pistol you were given... Uh, by the trooper. Yeah, I've got my hidden pistols and I've got that pistol openly. So, yep. uh, yeah, I'm heading for the casino because yep. I feel so like... back to the pleasure tumor? The, yeah, I've got to get back to the pleasure tumor. But the big thing for me is if I can get him out of the casino, then we can go deal with the crazy guy who's supposed to be doing the fights because I think he's the highest risk. Yeah. Uh, so as Nick you... will have lost by now. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you are running, um, you suddenly... Uh, no, I'm going to save that. Uh, so you continue to run. Smash cut back. Uh, all right, so Tyler, this is it. Yeah. This is this is the game. Um, I'm trying to figure out the best way for us to resolve space poker. And I think the easiest way might be with a hand of poker. So, Ryan, can you pause the show for a sec? <laughs> I'm going to get some cards. All right, we couldn't find cards, but I found an online poker generator, which is going to be even weirder, and thus we'll call it space poker. Which is so frustrating, because <laughs> I have so many fucking decks of cards in this place. So This uh, thing appears to generate eight players. So, do we want to say player one to four Vic, player four to eight, goat face. Let's uh, just generate the hands and I'll just pick the best one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, Ryan, do me a favor. Turn that laptop a little bit away from Tyler. Done and done. Great. Uh, I'm going to ask you to generate the hands because I still want dice to come into this. Done. So uh, we have hands one to eight. Yep. Is that correct? Yes, I have eight hands playing right now. Okay, so Tyler, I want you to roll me a gambling check. Um, I believe we've been doing this with cool. Um, yeah. Because there isn't a specific, like, gambling statistic. Yeah, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yep, uh, cool sounds good. Okay, so go ahead and roll me a cool check. Um, difficulty three. And let's talk about boost and setbacks. I'm going to say you've never played space poker because it doesn't exist. (laughs) But you're just so fucking confident that I'm going to give you a boost dice just for moxie. It's the benefit of being raised in such a sheltered environment that I just don't. (laughs) I'm not familiar with consequences. Yeah, you're the the, <laughs> the, the Benioff and Vice of, uh, of of gambling, where you're just like, I could write a show. It would be called Game of Thrones. Yeah. Give me more money than any show. Um, okay, so great. Um, in terms of setbacks, um, I'm also going to give you a setback dice because you've never played this before. Uh, and I will spend a point of destiny to upgrade one of those purples to a red. So from a, a difficulty to a challenge. Okay. Um, so here's the way this is going to work. You go ahead and roll. Based on how many successes and failures you get, that is... Give you a hand of that quality uh, out of the stack it, of hands. Yeah, um, it, uh, that's how many times you... I, yeah, I've got a weird system planned. You go ahead and roll yeah. the dice, and I'm going to just like hammer the rest of these details out of my brain. Okay. Um, <laughs> Thanks to coolinmix6.github.io. <laughs> Yeah, that's our, our poker generator. That's our version of audible.com. <laughs> <laughs> our sponsor is like coolhand6.on.gov.ca. Yeah. McDonald's. <laughs> Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Poker hands. 
<laughs> okay. Um, so that's gone. Okay, uh, I'm going to use my skill uh, Second Chance to reroll. Fuck, I forgot you somehow <laughs> weaseled your way to another character who doesn't immediately fail checks. You quitty <laughs> ass motherfucker <laughs> wrote this guy for me. I know. <laughs> I just came up with his dipshit personality. <laughs> that's <laughs> And he just saved the fucking day for himself. Yeah, that's a net total of one success. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, one success. Okay, so here's how this is going to work. We have eight potential hands. I'm going to get you to roll a D8. Mm-hmm. And because you got one success, uh, I'm going to allow you to roll it twice. Uh, and then we will pick the better thing. Now, we have to get you an actual D8. Yeah, we have to get you a D8, Tyler. You can't uh, assign numbers to it. <laughs> That's an eight. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, guys, I'm really worried. If eight it, again. He's becoming Vic Dunbar. <laughs> All right, give me one second. I'm just going to grab a D8. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, we found a D8. All right, so Tyler, go ahead and roll that D8 twice. Okay, first roll is an eight. Mm-hmm. Second roll is a four. Okay, so... Um, on our made-up poker hands that only Tom can see. Yep. Yeah, uh, so the better... Well, yeah, the better hand is four. So we'll go with a four. Okay. Uh, Ryan, go ahead and hit me. Oh, wait, I need to... Tyler, can you give me that uh, DM? Thank you, my good sir. All right. Um, uh, Goatface Killer has hand number three. So, Ryan, go ahead and... Uh, Let's flip through the options because they're both all in, right? Yep. Yep. The flop. Okay. Flop gives the advantage to... Well, I mean, we, we can just straight up, I think, tell okay, people what Okay, we can say, we can say what, what cards you have. So, so, Tyler, you're sitting on a pair of jacks. Oh, nice. Uh, Goatface is sitting on an ace and a five. Mm. And so far, the flop is an eight, a king, and a nine. And they're all so varied in their... We don't have any, like, runs or anything when it yeah. comes to that. The turn is another nine. So, Tyler, you're still, in, pair, you're still in the lead yeah, right yeah, now. Yep. The river... Is a five. It goes to Vic Dunbar. <laughs> oh, Vic Dunbar. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, it still goes yeah, to Vic Dunbar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Could, yeah. Got, no, because no. there are fives ace high, but I got two pair. No, he would have gotten... Pair of fives, pair of nines, yeah, and an ace. ace high, yeah, no, no, but he's pair got of jacks, pair of jacks, jacks and pair of nines. So with two pair, truly the shittiest poker winning hand <laughs> other than ace high. Uh, Vic Dunbar, you win the day. Um, I was just going to say, doesn't Goatface also have two pair? Because he has yeah, he's a got five. A, he's got a pair of fives yeah, and a pair of But nines. the nines are lower oh, than the jacks. Lower. I don't yeah. know. See, I don't know space poker rules. It's a real <laughs> problem for me. It's, it's all good. It's all good, baby. Oh, Vic. Uh, so literally, jacks. Jacks are what made the difference. Space jacks. Um, I don't know. Like, <laughs> they're, they're that fucking rat monkey from uh, Jabba's Palace. I don't know. Whatever. You, um, so yeah, you uh, you win you win the, the pot. It's, it's just a huge stack of credits. Um, the, like the keys to your ship. Uh, there's a dead man slumped over the pile. I guess you want him to. Uh, I also bit my tongue as I said that, so I'm sorry. It sounded like chill. <laughs> I literally was like, ow, fuck, why? Yeah, the dead man's drunk. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, so, uh, Vic, what do you do? Uh, okay, I cash out. I just, I just wrap my arms around the pile of chips and like rake it towards me. Okay, goat face shoots you. <laughs> 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 All right, so you're at close range, so that's uh, one one difficulty. Um, he's got two of these. Uh, I'm going to give him um, one setback because he's fast firing. I mean, his gun is on the table, but he's still got to, like, uh, flick it up. Uh, Tyler, you're smiling. What, what, what do you got? You got I just thought it was a very stupid thing to spend Destiny on, but I don't know. Uh, can I spend destiny to have, um, because I talked about like close up magic yep. <laughs> being a hobby of mine earlier <laughs> to have taken like a pen out of the dead guy's jacket and like slipped it into the barrel of the guy, of goat faces <laughs> blaster. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I'm smiling because it's a fucking, what a stupid idea. <laughs> well, geez, if only the first part of the name of the show was dumb. Yeah. <laughs> um, honestly, this is both dumb, scummy, and vaguely villainous, so <laughs> let's do it. Uh, so you're going to spend a point of destiny, um, and that will just enable you to roll this check, because uh, okay. that's pretty fucking bonkers. So I'm going to need um, a stealth check. I okay. think, because um, I don't think there's sleight of hand. <laughs> actually, I uh, take Skullduggery. Skullduggery is probably actually the better. Oh, cool. Better that's our boy thing. Yeah. <laughs> so that's... And being cool. cool. So that's three of these, and two of them get upgraded, if I'm doing that right. Yes. Okay. And what do you want to set that difficulty at? 
Um, I'm going to set the difficulty at two, but I'm going to give you two setback. Um, and I'm also going to give you two boost. Uh, two setback for obviously like it's high stakes poker. Everyone's paying attention, mm-hmm. but also two boost because there's a fucking gunfight happening. And I think you did this as you pulled the guy down and got shot. So there was like legitimately something happening. Yeah. Uh, to distract him. Everyone just can't believe how big your testicles are <laughs> as they watch the game. <laughs> I believe they're pronounced cojones in this situation. Ah, fancy space poker terms. <laughs> space cojones. <laughs> space <cojones. laughs> <laughs> Okay, I got a good amount of successes, so let's see what cancels what out. Okay, so Checking that's days. two threat canceled <laughs> out by two advantage, and one. So it's one success with two advantage left over. Okay, um, so he uh, raises the blaster, um, and he just kind of like glares at you. Uh, and he says, I was dealt a bad hand. Um, <laughs> and he pulls the trigger. And we smash cut back to uh, the dingy bar where the man who opened the episode is sitting with a small group of kind of like semi-interested drunk Jawas. And he's like, I saw him. I saw the goat man raise his gun. And old Slick, he was having none of it. He just stared him right in the eyes. He pulled all those chips in. That big fella... He was busy murdering people. <laughs> it was pretty rad. And then the goat man raised that gun, and that gun burst into furious flame. And I watched that goat man's arm just turn to small burning chunks of sad goat sadness. <laughs> and he screamed as his face caught fire. And I watched him just roll around screaming. And who is I, you ask? Well... I was the guy standing next to the Devorian who got shot. <laughs> Wait, where, where are y'all going? Ah, oh, jeez. I'm so <laughs> desperately alone. This episode of Dumb's Common Villainy features the voices of Ryan LaPlante at the Ryan LaPlante on Twitter, Tyler Hewitt at Tyler underscore Hewitt on Twitter, Adam McNamara at Adam McNamara13 on Twitter, and our fantastic game master Tom McGee at McGeeTD on Twitter. This episode was edited by Ryan LaPlante, and all of Dum Dums and Dice's art is by Decapitated Markers at Decapitated Marker on Twitter, that's MRKR. Our theme song is In Orbit by Chronox, and our ad music is No Control and Chiefs by Jazzar, J-A-H-Z-Z-A-R, all available at freemusicarchive.org. When it comes to Dum Dums and Dice, you can visit our website at dumdumdice.com. Our Twitter and Instagram are at dumdumdice, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash dumdumdice. But most importantly, we've got merchandise at redbubble.com slash people slash dumdumdice, or you can join our Patreon at patreon.com slash Dumb Dumb Dice. That's D-U-M-B D-U-M-B D-I-C-E Now get out of my shop. I'm a Toydarian. Your Jedi mind tricks do not work on me. Dum Dums and Dice has to give a special thank you to the supreme beings of our Patreon at this time. Christian Manicola, Long Long, Jason Denson, and Jill and Noel LaPlante. If you want your name to be added to this list, you can join our Patreon too at patreon.com slash dumdumdice. Thanks to them, and a little bit of thanks to you.